There are two primary philosophies to teaching and learning. One of these we call mind stuffing and the other mind building. Mind stuffing is what you're probably used to. It's thought of as the traditional way of approaching teaching and learning in the classroom. The teacher says a lot of things at you that you take down as notes. You read your textbook. You cram as much information into your brain as you possibly can for the next test. The test rolls around. You pull as much out of your brain as you possibly can to make as good a grade as possible on that test. You leave the classroom and you immediately forget about what you've learned. Mind building, on the other hand, is starting with a basic sound framework of information, attaching other ideas and concepts to that framework, making meaningful learning so that these make sense to us, that they attach to what we already know, and having the ability then for the rest of our lives to retrieve that information, bring it out, apply it, and use it within our lives and our work. Mind building is what we're going to shoot for in this course. In order to help you with that, a couple of things that I'm going to point you to on the internet. Uh, one is a very good tool for something we call concept mapping or mind mapping, so that you can practice making connections, building connections, and seeing the interconnectedness of all that you learn. And then also another uh, helpful place on the net uh, relative to the Cornell method of note taking and studying, which is a very efficient and effective way of, first off, understanding the materials that you're studying, and second, carrying that forward in a constructivist or mind-building sort of way.